Hello to everyone, I am Indurok, and today I am playing the Devour Dead. So, uh, this is a different, uh, kind of game. It, this is a game that was, uh, really, that was, uh, made for the, <coughs> for the, uh, Asylum Jam for this year. I don't know anything about these uh, jam things. Let's get into this. You play, I forget what. This is about, he plays like a spirit trying to escape a house or something. Ah, whatever. 302. That'll be fine. Let's get into this. Oh, wow. Uh, all right. Oh, yeah. Just interact with things like this. Although, your little spooky spook, oh, has to move there first. Oh. I came here as a guest once. At the time, I was just passing through. <coughs> I do not recall that much. I was greeted by my gracious host, the owner of the house. He had opened the place up to travelers from all places. <coughs> the next time it was under the unpleasant sir it was it was under more unpleasant circumstances and I moved through these halls under the cover of darkness I was starved confused I have a feeling that some of these letters are not correct because I've actually even written in uh, the runes from like the Hobbit my first impulse was to make a quick theft, collect what I could from the old man's private collection upstairs, and turn what little money I could from it. <coughs> well, that's not a very good idea, to be honest. Probably the best idea would be to leave. Okay, frame rate is a little lower than I was expecting. Quick to hide. What? No! Oh! Loud. Well, diably. Key. All right. Aha! I couldn't help myself. <coughs> I treated myself to a taste of the old man's liquor stock. And that's when my plan began to form. Certainly that certain that he had more supplies in his kitchen than he could pos possibly keep stock of, I resolved to start there there and carve out something not unlike a legitimate life for myself. I wish the text would go a little bit faster. If it's a click to continue thing down there, you might as well, you know. Just or just show the whole text just all all together. Just put it all up there. How do I get out of here now? How do I go back to the main entrance area? Oh, I guess I'm just supposed to follow the the storyline. What? Oh, I found a passage <clears throat> while rummaging through. Because I don't know if click to skip is going to. Oh, never mind. Okay. I found a passage while rummaging through the pantry here. A dank, moist little tunnel that spiraled down into the bowels of the house. It was there that I set off that I set up my operation. The house, the house's owner was absent away on some trip and I set myself <clears throat> to work putting I set myself to work putting together a makeshift still liquor was forbidden and I was sure that I could turn my fortune around by manufacturing something quickly and cheaply safely outside of suspicion by operating beneath the house and a modern day uh, uh, the house of a modern day aristocrat bad idea bre Barricaded? No! 
I saw an axe earlier before. Oh wait, the axe was on the door that I just went through to get into the air. But it's gone now. Uh, okay, is that stuff just scripted? Alright, let me up, please. Uh, it's kinda... Ugh. Oh no, here it is. The times that I need to hide could be scripted. Alright, let's go in here. Let's break down a data barricade. Bushke! Did it. I am. De oh. The old man, the one who owned this place, he had bought. He had brought something back with him from his latest trip. I had been working unnoticed in that basement for months when it showed up. A writhing, horrific thing with malice in its eyes greeted me from behind a cage in the room I had once used for my operations. I saw no mouth. But the creature's teeth glistened at me in the darkness of the basement. Those teeth, they contorted, twisted, twisted upwards into an alien mockery of a smile. Jagged and cracked, I ran, certain that the old man had some trophy in his personal quarters I could use to defend myself. As I forced my way through that small tunnel in into the kitchen, I heard the steel of the thing's cage buckle and break behind me. Uh-oh. No. All right, hid. I'm hidden. I'm hidden. I think that's the monster. The thing that the old man brought over. Whoa. Oh, man. That is the, that is a big-ass chain, man. It's the biggest friggin' thing I've ever seen. I guess I just leave now, this area. What do I do now? I guess... Have I been in here yet? What? Wait, what? What's going on? Oh, I guess... Oh! oh. No! Back off, you! Back off, Sam! I want to stay here for a while until everything's all normal again. Ugh. That is evil. Grr! Grr! Grr, man! Grr! Grr! All right. Let's... Oh, everything's all floating and all that. Why is everything floating? It's not normal! Oh, it's gonna keep... Oh, really? It's gonna... Keep rotating? I was overtaken with fear. I had not intended to threaten the old man, but my mind was burning with questions, and I needed an answer. Any answer to calm myself. I heard him outside, and in mistaking him for the thing from the basement, I aimed the pistol I had found at the old man's dresser at the at the door. What? I had found... Oh, you found a gun in the old man's dresser at the door. He stood, staring at me in silence as I demanded to know what happened. My hands, shaking in the moment, pulled against the trigger with enough force to fire. Okay. That's not how questioning works, man. There is no, like, I don't believe in shoot first and talk later. I recall quite clearly that the old man was, un was unharmed, but he fled down the hallway in a clear attempt to escape me. That was when the hallways seemed to swallow him whole, pulling him deeper into, s into some dark recess of the house and outside of my view. Alright, there's nothing to interact with yet except this door! Wait. 
This is where it was already, wasn't it? Oh, now I can go in here. The bath tube. Alright. What? Oh. <clears throat> I just like the... Just like the owner of the house, I too was swallowed up by these endless, by those endless twisting hallways before being eventually spit out into some other bedroom. I had no choice, I had no chance to get my bearings, I remember now, but I ran, blood pumped fast, drowning out any other sounds of the house may have made as it rushed through my ears. I, I, yeah, whispers clouded my ears, assuring me that there would be no escape from this place. So I soon, soon I found myself outside of the grand, the grand house's library. The place was familiar to me after the weeks I had spent there, learning the craft that I had practiced in the basement. But I, but as I approached it on that night, I was filled with a sudden dread, my heart icing over with fear. I turned the handle regardless. In some other way, I found myself deserving of the fate that awaited me beyond the door. Whatever had been there that, my, that night turned me into what I am now. A glowy, whitey, spooky spook. What? No, you took away my hidey spot! Oh no, I am devoured! Damn it. <laughs> oh, don't tell me I have to start over. The scientist. Oh, these are all different stories? Man of Means. I was hosting a researcher from abroad whom I had invited due to her experience with the exotic animals. I had hoped to get some information regarding the thing that I had brought back from my latest expedition. We shared a drink from my private collection, outlawed under official law, but not much of an offense for a man of means and discussed the possible origins of the beast. My words faltered, and I excused myself momentarily under a, the guise of placing the key to my collection in its proper place upstairs. Um... I don't know how much of this is gonna be. I mean, I don't want this to be too long. I don't wanna make this video Super duper long. Despite my best efforts, I was unable to convey, convey my guest exactly what I had taken with me from the Arctic expedition. And as we savored our drink, I found myself wondering if there, were, if there would be any way for her to help without exposing her to the danger pre presented by the beast. I tried explaining the way it had stalked us in the, on the snow, leaving behind footprints that seemed to move in all directions at once, and approaching from the paths it could not have rationally had access to. But my companion was in, was a unfettered. Okay, as she launched into yet another theory based on what little information I could provide, we re retired to the kitchen for a small bite to accompany our slaked thirst. Wait a minute, is this, is this game, like, the man with means, is that the old man that has been meant, that was mentioned before? Is it the same old man? Only it's just showing different sides of the story? My guest put forth rather fantastical theory theories regarding the thing's possible nature, as I recall, she gleefully recounted the potential ram ramifications of my having discovered a freshly spec specific spe 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 whatever manner of beast, offering a dissect a, a dis to dissect and examine it personally. My attempts to e explain the havoc that the creature had wreaked on my expedition crew fail fell on deaf ears, and despite my initial protests, 
I found myself leading my guests down to the boiler room where I had locked the beast away just after my return. Well, time to go back for the axe! Alrighty then, so let's go over and... As I stared at the empty cage, I felt the same cold, untempered fear that had haunted me in the final hours of my expedition. The thing that had stalked me and my men out in the frozen arctic wastes had been released. That had, that had nearly escaped its containment as we passed through the Vermont. My fury got the better of me and I rashly accused my guest of having taken my prize for her own personal gain. In my haste, I ordered her to seek shelter elsewhere in the house, and I investigated the damaged boiler room myself. It soon became clear to me that I had been wrong in my initial assessment, and someone else had assisted the beast in its escape. Fearing for my life, fearing for the life of my guest, I rushed to my quarters. I f fully intent on arming myself against the beast now prowling through my home. Alright. So yeah, we're going through all the same stuff again, only uh, different uh, stories here going on. So I wonder if this is all just different points of view. It could very well be. No, no, no. Oh, boy. Well, I can't... But well, I can't tell where I... Okay, you know what? Uh, I think that's enough. I think I played enough. Because this isn't working out for me here. I mean, it's pretty interesting, but, I mean... When the camera is being all... When things are rotating, like, it's hard for me to be able to actually escape from the monster. You know? So, that's the end of this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.